check this view out. So that is lit officially. 178,000 miles, almost 179,000 miles. Scheduled an appointment with the transmission shop to get that taken care of. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's not that bad. Maybe it's just a few parts that need to be replaced. That would be ideal, right? What I've done with the Renegade so far it may need a new transmission. Everything's shifting fine though, at this point. Everything has been shifting fine. So I'm gonna get some fluid, I'm gonna change it, see if that helps, see if I can make it last another week and a half. Um, we'll see. With how much I've put Renegade through, I knew this day would come that I would have to replace the transmission. Nonetheless, I am impressed with what it's done. I don't think it would have burnt up as much if I would have not attempted Bald Mountain so much. Check out my video with Bald Mountain. You'll see I went up and down. It was a 20, I think it was 22% grade, 21 or 22% grade. I attempted it like five or six times. So I, th I really believe that if I would not have done that, I don't think I would have damaged my transmission. But ever since that point, it has whined. The transmission has been whining and things while sh while driving in first and second gear. So I think that's the, those are the main issues. <laughs> All right, so this is what I got. P0705. Severity two of three. So it's not the worst it could be. <laughs> Repair it immediately if drivability is issues. So with the drivability, still being all right i think it'll last till next week we will see so i'm thinking about risking it but i might be going out to the cabin with my kids and my my dad um out here in alaska i think i'm gonna risk it because it's if it's issues i'm gonna change the fluid see if that helps um we'll find out i guess stay tuned all right okay working out here in the rain Got to change my transmission fluid. Had a flashing D, so I think that's probably what the uh, just service. I've changed it quite frequently after wheeling because I know that I push this transmission a lot. Um, we'll see how it goes this time. I might. It did say that one of the shift solenoids or whatever they're called um, needs to be replaced, so I have an appointment with the training shop to be able to get that replaced. Um, I don't know a ton about transmissions other than the fluid. Um, so I'm not gonna, I don't feel confident doing anything with that, but I, I'm hoping to learn with this shop. Hopefully they teach me a little bit. Um, but I'll show you a little bit of how to change the transmission fluid. And, uh, yeah, it's not that bad on a Honda Ridgeline. Um, it's just a drain plug and fill. So we'll get into it. I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right. So the easiest thing to do. Remove this right here, which is a 10 mil. Ten millimeter socket. Just remove that. And then you get some pliers or something or your fingers and pull that pull this off, pull that out. And you just pull this out so this thing's out of the way. That's the easiest thing to do. And then back here, this little that that nut right there that's actually uh that's where you fill the tranny at once you have that removed i just set it right here boom done just gonna pull out from here loosen that up pull that off and this is actually that little clamp hose you can just pull that right out it's good to go now you have access to that uh, uh fill area as well as um, get your funnel down in there 
and this isn't in the way. It makes it way easier. Okay, now we're under the truck. And we're gonna be showing you where the drain plug is. So if you're looking at the front of the truck, like so, it's gonna be on your driver's side. You come right here under the cross member. Boom, this right here. You're just gonna loosen that, let it drain, and then you'll be solid. Yeah, definitely smells burnt. <laughs> that is for sure. I've seen it worse, but that is definitely burned. Okay. So we're gonna wipe this off. This looks pretty. Come on, there we go. So this thing here is pretty gummed up. Let's wipe that off and see. Yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, we'll see how that, uh, how this fluid change does. It's definitely burned. By taking this rag, just dipping it in here. Look at that. I see a little red to it, but that's definitely burned. It smells terrible. To put in perspective of how bad this oil is, I'm gonna take some out of here, pour it on a paper towel, and then dip the other part of the paper towel in the old oil so you can see the different coloring and how bad it actually is. Okay, so this is how the oil should look, right here. And you can already see just how red that is, just the cap, look how red that is. And we're gonna take this side, dip it in the used oil, so you can see it like right next to each other. Look at that, look at that difference. Oil change needed. <laughs> All right, just broke that loose, getting that out of there. This is what it looks like. Just right down in there. Put a funnel and fill it up. But before you fill it up, make sure you put the drain plug back in it. All right, so when checking this, at least on mine, <laughs> the manual says to let it run, get it to operating temperature. And then once it's there, turn it off, wait 60 seconds, and then check the, the level. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, I put almost four quarts in. It seems to be solid right, right at the bottom mark. I'm going to go drive it around a little bit, see if the fluid level changes, and then add a little bit more in if needed. If not, we should be so solid. Okay, ended up being perfect. So... Four quarts is what I put in, and it was at the bottom line. Went and drove it around, got it up to temperature, turned it off, and then checked it, and it is right at the top top line. Perfect. So um, everything's working well. I don't have a flashing D on my dash anymore. Everything's fine at this point. Um, still going to go to the transmission shop to see if I need to actually put, replace anything um, or what needs to be done to it but i think i'll be all right to at least drive around for a week or so and get it checked out hopefully you guys like the video like share subscribe check out patreon uh, in the link below also you can check out our apparel uh, at renegadeheadquarters.com hopefully we'll see you on the next one appreciate you and your support have a good one